What's going on my boys, YT Dan back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. We're gonna do this video a little bit different. I'm gonna do a Voltage of the Metal mini box mini review. And also I'm gonna be having this video that I've uploaded that I was also working on um, in addition. So enjoy that and enjoy this as well, my boys. So Voltage of the Metal mini box more exceeds monsters have arrived windups and gear gear are on the march so we're going to be getting in there with machine type monsters yet again and just looking at this box i am very excited man let me just start off by saying it's incredible to see your boy marauding captain in Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links tomorrow the marauding captain will be here and that means that the deck that i'm about to show you will be even stronger than the one I'm showing you today. So my boys, the Marauding Captain is definitely gonna be a monster to a force to be reckoned with. His effect to generally augment uh, any type of attacks coming in as long as there's warriors on the field is just disgusting. Also on top of that, he has an effect very similar to Goblinberg, but he, the difference is he can summon a level four um, special summon monster and he will not change the defense position also when that monster is special summoned if it's a level four um tuner monster he can hit the ex uh, synchro summon if it's a uh, level three monster he can hit the exceed summon it's absolutely disgusting and with the hex fusion he can hit the fusion summon as well so marauding captain is definitely the i think the best card in this box right now i'm very excited about marauding captain hands down gotta get three of those spicy boys and then also we got Exceeds Veil, which I'm really excited for. It's continuous trap card that pretty much says Exceed monsters cannot be targeted by card effects as long as they have materials. And that's amazing. Utopia cannot be targeted. Also, he can stop two attacks. Perfect, perfect. That's what Utopia should have said in the first place. But I mean, hey, come on. That's a really good effect being able to not be targeted. But also this card is open to Cosmic Cyclone, which sucks. But hey, um, Exceeds Veil is really good for just, you know, if you're gonna be running an Exceeds deck, gives you a little bit of extra security, um, just a little more reason to continue that Exceeds play and Exceeds summon to spend those resources into those cards. So it's a good good uh, support card. And then also we got Wind Up Shark and Wind Up Magician. Pretty nuts. Shark's gonna be able to get special summoned to the field and pretty much augment a level up or down by one and then wind up magician i believe special summons from the deck yes yeah, special summons the wind up from the deck so pretty much you can hit um three level four monsters in one turn very quickly with wind up magician and wind up shark and whatever monster you brought out from the deck and then once you hit that you can go into your three cost uh level four exceeds monster or you can go into if you choose to go down some levels you can go into your wind up carriers in mighty special summon from your deck it's gonna be bananas so i really like this box so far um it's, it's got a lot of interesting cards and then also um we have this card that allows you to pretty much go nuts with psychic and machine monsters so it says tribute one monster special summon two herotic beast monsters from the deck in defense position also you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn after this card resolves except for psychic or machine monsters you only use the effect once per turn so this card is pretty much going to be an otk game winning uh card i'm pretty sure there's going to be a combo made around this but it's gonna be absolutely disgusting, my boys. Oh, they're, they're showing you the combo right here. And then also we have number 50, Black Ship of Corn. Now this Black Ship of Corn, I never noticed that the, the name was so lame. <laughs> but number 50, Black Ship of Corn. Once per turn, you can detach one exceeds card, then target one face up monster your opponent controls with less attack then are equal to this card and send it to the graveyard and if you do inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent this card cannot attack the turn you activate its effect so this card's effect is you would say kind of weird 
if you're running like a Gaga Ga style uh, deck and you're using the Gaga Ga Magician and you drop their attack to zero, hypothetically, that could be really good. But I think cards like this um, are for, uh, let me see, for, uh, cards like this. Because this card says, when this card will be destroyed, you can use its materials to negate pretty much its destruction. But if you're using uh, your black ship of corn, you can pretty much make your uh, opponent just send it to the graveyard so it doesn't get destroyed, so they don't get to use their effect. So I think that's what this is kind of for to counter that kind of stuff. So that's, that's kind of interesting and cool uh, as it is. But since this box is going to be coming out um, pretty soon here, uh, that's it for me, my boy. So thank you so much for enjoying my mini box mini review and enjoy the rest of the video and keep it day. Today I got for you a spicy deck. We're using Pegasus extra extra to play my fusion game. Pretty much what we're doing here, my boy, is using the power of Goblin Berg to summon into your Dark Hex fusion to let you go into some unique plays. So first off, you can use this combination to summon Dark Calvary, which is really cool. This monster uh, gets stronger with every spell and trap played. And then also you can discard a card to negate any card that targets, which is amazing. And then also, you also have the rare option and chance to go into the red eye slash dragon. Now you don't necessarily have to ever do this, but you can do it sometimes for style points, my boys, and it gets fun to have red eye slash and Calvary riding up on those life points. Now you can do the same thing with Goblin Berg with Trident Warrior. Trident Warrior is really good. And when the Marauding Captain comes out, you can do the same thing with the Marauding Captain and the Dark Hex Fusion. Now, what's even more incredible about this, we're using a Light Sworn engine in this deck. The Light Sworn engine allows us to mill through the deck very quickly and put our fusion materials in the graveyard to use Magicalized Fusion. Magicalized Fusion lets us fuse in the grave so we can pretty much summon Dark Calvary from our graveyard. And on the first turn, um, a standard opening could be Fortune Lady Every and Dark Calvary, which is absolutely incredible or blowing up the field completely and then summoning a dark calvary or you get the idea so this deck is really strong i'm having a lot of fun playing with it on the ladder enjoy the rest of the video clips and enjoy the claps my boys and as always keep it dank will he pay for his misdeeds we shall see boys Ooh, the dog. He shall pay. So when Goblin Berg uses effect, special summon Hex. Activate Hex. Uh, one. Red Eyes Slash. About two. Red Eye Slash Super Equip. And pass turn. So yeah, you can go in Red Eye Slash or Calvary. Most of the time you just go into Calvary. But Red Eye Slash was a, a spicy, uh, spicy thing that I could not resist. What? High Priestess. Build three spell books, first summon this card, banish one spell book, and target one card on the field and destroy it. Okay. Well, she's gonna pay for her misdeeds when she hits the, bo hits the board. Yes. You will pay for your misdeeds. My red eye slash effect activates. Be gone. <laughs> Impossible. He has even more spellbook power. All right. 
I guess that's it. I guess that's why you're on the rank now. <laughs> we'll try to get another one. <laughs> Red eyes or slash free. Uh, this is all right. This is a hand that I understand. Yeah, understand. Remember? All right, here we go. Dado. Oh, this is really nice. Wait. Scott Duddo. Ooh. Trident Warrior hit the grave, so now we got the combo. Cool. Samo. Damn. Now that's respect, my boy. <laughs> that's respect. That's fucking respect. <laughs> respect. Some Illumina, respect, bro. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Good, goodbye. I'll be the same. Man gave up instant respect. <laughs> he was like, fuck. I'm out, bro. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Not good. Gotta drop some of those light sworn spells. Duh, oh. Uh, even worse. I'm gonna set a card. Jeez. I don't want him to know what I got. Cause he might come charging in here and I can't afford that. But, uh, yes. 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 <laughs> Yes. Yes. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Yes. That's what we should do. Yes. Flip. And activate. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Summon. Gonna activate. Uh, we're going to pitch. Uh, yeah, we're going to pitch uh, you. And then we're going to bring back. Uh, you. And we're gonna sync this up. Summon the Yeet Boy. Yeet Boy. And activate. Summon the Calvary. There he is. He's my effect. Be gone. Ooh. Getting in for game? Nani. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Your bacon saver won't save you from my assault. <laughs> yes. Yes. Disgusting. <laughs>
different dimension demons, conquerors and kings of the different dimension, the Triple D, were banished from the metagame and cast out into the shadows for all time. Ignored by the tier list 